Hello, welcome to another album review. On this video, I'm gonna review the classic, the classic um, rap album by uh, the Beastie Boys called "License to Ill." This is one of the first record. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the first recordings uh, released by Def Jam at Columbia Records. It, it was the first rap LP to top the Billboard album chart. It is one of the uh, one of Columbia Records' fastest selling de debut records to date. It was certified diamond by the R. RIAA in 2015 for over ship for shipping over 10 million copies. Okay, the group originally wanted to title the album "Don't Be a Faggot," but Columbia Records re uh, refused to release the album under its title, arguing it was homophobic. Impression uh, uh, Russell uh, Russell Simmons uh, and the head of Def Jam to uh, to change the title. Okay, and like and like uh, you you know something like uh, that 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 be that would that would have been something if they were if they released that album under that title because like. Because that wouldn't fly in, in in today's atmosphere of political correctness and people who are hyper, who were overtly sensitive, then that, that wasn't gonna fly. It didn't fly then. It wasn't gonna fly then, and the damn sure ain't gonna fly now. But I digress. Okay, what I liked about this, this is one of the best rap albums I've ever heard in my life. Okay, and like um, I li I like the fact that um, that uh, um. The um, Kerry King, uh, the guitar player from Slayer, uh, had, had made an appearance on the album uh, for the song "No Sleep Till Brooklyn," and 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 the appearance of the uh, music video, which is a parody of uh, glam glam metal. That that's what I liked about this album. Uh, I, I like that. I like I like the the uh, the the uh, the hip clumsy awkwardness of this whole album. I love I love the feel the. Uh, the back and forth rap flow of all three rappers, Adam Horowitz, and the, I, I forget the other two. Forgive me if I if I forget the other two cast names uh, of, of of the BC boys. And like uh, this had the song. They had this had songs like Paul Revere, which is a kick ass song. Uh, songs like and uh, the songs like you got to fight for your right to party, uh, which had that which had that that metal sound to it mixed in with rap. Like I think that this like one of the first uh, songs which are mixed in. I think like what this another um, way this song uh, was is a uh, this album is a pioneering uh, album of hip hop because it fused metal with with uh, hip hop with songs like a No Sleep Till Brooklyn and You Gotta Fight for Your Right to Party. And another song I like was um with a song Brass Monkey, Bra Brass Monkey, which um hold on, Brass Monkey, which uh which uh, which was a sample from a uh, uh wild sugar bring it here and um songs like um songs like girls which had that which had that um which had which had that um that keyboard that that that, that clunky keyboard sound like songs like that like I, I like the song and, and songs like uh, "She's Crafty," which is another uh, song uh, t talking about how how uh, females are. Like th 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 well, this whole album revolves around around uh, just just uh, being rebellious teenagers. It, it 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 basically tells the story of rebellious teenagers getting into it in fights, get uh, uh, picking up girls, partying. Th th this is like a party album, a party hip hop. Uh, fighting teenage teenage angst album um t told from the told from the view of, of the beastie boys and like songs like a uh, slow and low and time to get it in a slow ride it, it, it basically uh it basically just show, shows um show, shows the um shows the range and the uh the unique the, the unique approach that that the beastie boys had because mind you before uh, before the beastie boys uh was doing rap they was they was a punk rock band uh, basically that's that's who they were but like um with, with song with uh with with a uh, with a kick-ass album like license to ill they they solidified their uh they solidified their uh their mark in the um they they solidified their mark in the in the, in a, a era of hip hop, which which was uh, started by blacks, and, and it, it it showed you that that they didn't come off in some appropriating type of um type of manner. They came off in their own style, and that's what I like about the album. The the best songs on this album are fight uh, a uh, brass monkey, a fight for your right, no sleep to Brooklyn, Paul Revere, and girls in a new style. From a scale to one to ten, I give it a ten. From a scale to one to twenty, I give it a twenty. All right.